Hey guys, we're Blowing Wave back. I'm Aaron. I'm Calvin. Rick. Eric. And we are here with the movie voted over at patreon.com slash blindwave, this time yeah. Inside yeah. Out. Papa Roach song, right? No, and who? No, you guys don't, you don't know Papa Roach? You don't? Okay. It sounds from no the life of the Roach. Is it from the 90s? <laughs> yeah, he sings that song, right? Turn it inside out, find I don't think nothing I know that one. Anyway, uh, oh. for this movie, I have seen it already. I don't think any of these guys have seen it at all, right? Nope. Nope. No. Uh, maybe familiar with premises, maybe not, nope. but that's about as far Definitely. as they are with that kind of stuff, too. Um, otherwise, I don't want to go into too much else because we're going to watch it. Uh, there will be full length available for this, so make sure you guys check that out. You can find that in the description and or pinned comments, so look down there for that. All of that's always available over at patreon.com slash blindwave, mm -hmm. so find the links down below to go check that out. Um, and it's offered for all of our movies, our reactions, and everything. And... The next four movies are available over there at Patreon as well, so. Yeah. All right, let's get started. This is like an R-rated body horror. Yes. Oh, that would be great. Yeah, Pix Disney, Pix intro. Disney leans Pixar was trying it. to do something a little different this time. Yeah. Hey, man, Disney had some fucked up shit back in the day. The castle starts That's blowing true. up. Starts falling. That's how you know it's R-rated. Starts spaghettifying. Oh, it's a little baby. Oh, man, we're playing Fallout. Yeah. Character creation time. Yeah. <laughs> and there she was. There is a pinball yes. machine inside my head. There so is. This is. That's how your, your memories are delivered. Wow. Okay. Uh, I had no idea what this movie was about. Really? Really? <laughs> what did you think it was about? I don't know now. I don't want to say it. I want you now, to say like what idiot. you thought it was. <laughs> All the people inside my head are scrambling. Don't tell them. For 33 seconds. <laughs> I'm sadness. Oh, hello. I... I'm Joy, so... Can I just... If you could... I just want to fix that. <laughs> Thanks. And that was just the beginning. Headquarters only got more crowded from there. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, looks like you got this. Very good. Oh, that's right, Karen! Ah, look out! That's fear. He's really good at keeping Riley safe. Easy, easy, huh? Huh, back! Oh, we're good. Whose voice is that? Bill Hader? For fear? Bill Hader. Yeah. Ah! Yeah, it didn't hit her. She's safe. There is a dangerous smell, people. Hold on, what is that? This is disgust. She basically keeps Riley from being poisoned, physically and socially. That is not really colored or shaped like a dinosaur. Hold on, guys. Mindy Kaling? Exactly. Yep. yep. Yeah. No. You're not going to get any dessert. Wait, did he just say we couldn't have dessert? That's anger. He cares very deeply about things being fake. So that's how you want to play it, old man? I don't know. Who's who black? Man. Yeah, oh, yeah. Sure. Okay. We'll eat our dinner. Right after you, He's giving off heat. <laughs> <laughs> he was in Marietta the other day. Yeah, he was. What? The really? other day? Yeah. Dang. Oh, airplane. We got an airplane, everybody. <laughs> we got an airplane. Ooh. <laughs> but these are called core memories. Each one came from a super important time in Riley's life. Uh, like when she first scored a goal. Oh, that was so oh, amazing. Oh, so cool. So sweet. <laughs> Thank Canada. It's a little. Sweet. It's like they're reacting to Riley. <laughs> yeah, almost. <clears throat> well, they push a button to make the reaction. Memory powers sure. a different aspect of Riley's personality. Like Hockey Island. So, Rick, you have a pinball island in your head. Makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Riley! <laughs> it's like Kanan. Oh, I love Honesty Island! And that's the truth! And of course, Family Island is amazing. That was great. I broke the plate. The point is, the islands of personality. Oh, I don't want sadness Riley to become more prominent. <laughs> the floor is lava. I like how like the they make the imagination like yeah. there you see the lava. Yeah. It's cool. No! 
This is terrifying! <laughs> that is terrifying. <laughs> you could just die. After all, Riley's 11 now. <clears throat> what could happen? Oh. <laughs> okay, not what I had in mind. <laughs> this happened to Andy. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I've been playing so much Farming Simulator, I'm like, ooh, sunflowers! <laughs> what? Oh, fuck! God. Oh. It's, a, it's a really rich crop! What can I say? <laughs> I need those. San Francisco. Oh. Hey, look! The Golden Gate Bridge! Isn't that great? It's not made out of solid gold. Like Take a thought, drink. It's kind of a disappointment, but still! I sure am glad you told me earthquakes are a myth, Joy. Otherwise, I'd be terrified right now. Uh... Yeah. I've been there. These are my kind of people. Right, just a few more rocks. Road rage. <laughs> Angry people. I've seen the rock. Wow. Uh, hey, yeah, off street parking, though. No. We're supposed to live here? Yeah. I'm telling you, it smells like something died in here. Did you die from moving? Guys, you're overreacting. You died from moving. Died. I just know. Oh my gosh, look at all those. Those are. I know that's what I said. That's what they told me. supposed to show up on Thursday, not today. Uh, I gotta go. It's okay. We get it. Brain. See you, sweetie. An investor. Yeah. San He's Francisco. Gotta start up, maybe. Uh, I should drive, right? Join. That's Phyllis what? from the office. Yes, it, it is. is. I wondered if you'd catch it. I hear it now. <laughs> it looks like her. <laughs> it does. <laughs> oh, what about the time with the dinosaur? Oh, no. The car! I like that time with the dinosaur. That was pretty funny. <laughs> hey, what? What happened? You did something to the memory. Why'd you touch what it? What'd you do? I, I just touched it. Change it back, Joy. You can't change it back. Oh, I guess I can't. To go in sadness. Now, when Riley thinks of that moment with Dad, she's gonna feel sad. Bravo. I'm sorry, Joy. I don't really know. I thought maybe if you, if, if you, if I. Joy, mean, I... we got a stairway coming up. Great casting. Yeah. Just don't touch any other memories until we figure out what's going on. Okay. All right. Get ready. This is a monster railing, and we are riding it all the way down. What does fear think about this? Fear has a lot to say about this. Wait, what? What happened? <gasps> a core memory! Oh no! Oh, no. What are you doing? It looked like one was crooked, so I opened it and then it fell out. We're gonna lose our childhood! <laughs> it's just that I wanted to maybe hold me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sadness, you nearly touched a core memory. And when you touch them, we can't change them back. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. Something's wrong with me. I, it's like I'm having a breakdown. You're not having a breakdown. It's stress. Breakdown. Try to think of something funny. Oh, remember the funny movie where the dog dies? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not. Oh, 
What about that time with Meg when Riley laughed so hard <laughs> milk came out of her nose? <laughs> oh, God. That hurt. It felt like fire. Oh, it was... Well, I like it when we're outside. That's good. Like there's the beach and sunshine. Oh, like that time we buried Dad in the sand up to his neck. Well, I was thinking more like rain. Is my favorite I like too. Down the we rain. can stomp around in puddles, you know, there's cool umbrellas. I like the different yeah. perspectives they each yeah. have on the same exact scenario. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's so much water in those. <laughs> but why? <laughs> those boots are not effective. <laughs> Let's make a list of all the things Riley should be happy about. Fine. Let's see. This house stinks. Our room stinks. Pizza is weird here. Our friends are back home. And all of our stuff is in the missing van. Oh, come on. It could be worse. Yeah, Joy. We could be lying on the dirty floor in a bag. Okay, I admit it. Mm -hmm. We have <laughs> Her eyes. I say we skip school tomorrow and lock ourselves in the bedroom. Huh? <laughs> no clean clothes. I mean, no one should see us. Yeah, we could cry until we can't breathe. We should lock the door and scream that curse word we know. It's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> True production. <laughs> All those disgusted, fearful, angry memories. Come live with me, Ryan. No! The dead mouse! The dead mouse! Oh, Alright, yeah, that's just a vibe. I'm organic. I'm organic. <laughs> Sadness, you stay out of here. What are you doing? <laughs> I just wanted to touch it. Fear. I need a list of all the possible negative outcomes on the first day at a new school. Way ahead of you there. Does anyone know how to spell meteor? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Trisha Tanaka. I have a super important job just for you. Really? Mm -hmm. Follow me. Stay in the circle. <laughs> there. Perfect. This is the circle of sadness. Your job is to make sure that all the sadness stays in so of small. It. <laughs> so, you want me to just stand here? Hey, it's not my place to tell you how to do your job. Just make sure that all the sadness stays in the <laughs> She's suddenly in a Mr. You're Beast video. Right. Isn't this fun? <laughs> no. Except she doesn't win anything. Isn't this fun? No. <laughs> Quick sand, spontaneous combustion, or getting called on by the teacher. As long as none of those happen. Okay, everybody. We have a new student in class today. Are you kidding me? Out of the gates, this is not happening. <laughs> but their eyeballs were touching. How about Minnesota? Can you tell us something about it? We well, certainly get a lot more snow than we do. <laughs> <She's so funny>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it gets pretty cold. The lake race is over, and uh, that's when that's we play hockey. Sadness. Well, we did till I moved away. Hey, what gives? What? Hey, sadness. You touched a memory. We talked about this. Oh yeah, I know. I thought. Get back in your circle. What's going on? Get out of there, Joy. Yet. That was such an important memory. Cool kids was break at three o'clock. Did you see that look? They're judging us. Somebody help me grab that. Kill sadness. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's the only no. solution. I'm sorry. You can't kill sadness. We have to kill her. Oh, fear. What? No. Sadness, what are you doing? Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Oh. That's a core mm -hmm. sadness. Fucking sadness! Ah. No! The core memories are being sent out. They're Fucking being sadness! <laughs> Spot. Looks like they separated. 
Don't touch all of them. It's interesting. All the ones that she landed in are blue now. Long-term memory. Yeah, the ones that she's like actually touching. Yeah. She keeps touching more, and they keep blueing. I found a junior hockey league right here in San Francisco, and get this: tryouts are tomorrow after school. Yo guys, uh, th 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 this uh, here, you you pretend to be joy. Wouldn't it be great to be back out on the ice? Oh yeah, that sounds fantastic. What was that? That wasn't anything like joy. Uh, because I'm not joy. Yeah, no kidding. There we go. Something's wrong. Should we ask her? Let's probe, but keep it subtle so she doesn't notice. So, interesting. Was the first day of school. She's probing us. She's so much more mature. You pretend to be joy. What? what should we do? We're going to find out what's happening, but we'll need support. Signal the husband. Ahem. <laughs> oh, no. With a nice pass over the reef, comes across that right. Ahem. Uh oh. She's looking at us. What did she say? What? Oh, oh, sorry, sir. No one was listening. What? No one was listening. The toilet seat up. What? What is it, woman? What? He's making that stupid face again. I could strangle <laughs> him right now. <laughs> so her primary is sadness is his, so, is his anger, right. huh? How was school? Oh, oh, you kidding me? For this, we gave up that Brazilian helicopter pilot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, make a show of force. I don't want to have to put the foot down. No, not the foot. Me, I do not like this new attitude. Oh, I'll show you attitude. Okay? No, 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 no. Stay happy. <laughs> What's your problem? Just leave me alone. Sir, reporting high levels of sass. Take it to DEFCON 2. You heard that, gentlemen? DEFCON 2. Listen, high levels of sass. I don't know where this disrespectful attitude came from. You want a piece of this pup? Come and get it. Yeah, well... Well, Here it comes. Prepare the foot. He's gonna use the word, isn't he? Keys to second position. <laughs> Ready to launch on your command, sir. Just shut up! Fire! That's it. Go to your room. Now. <laughs> foot is down. The foot is down. Yeah. <laughs> they all have mustaches. <laughs> That could have been a disaster. Well, that was a disaster. Fly <laughs> 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 <Lie> with me. <laughs> oh. No, they're eroding. Family Island. <laughs> oh. Goof Island oh. shaking. I hope a meteor just comes down. Oh my god! Run! Goose Sadness! We need sadness, Calvin. It's how you experience joy. It's how you appreciate joy. Yeah. Not how you experience joy. You know what I mean? My I think she has appreciated her joyful memories a bunch. Goofball Island, damn. It's just gone. Yeah, well, everybody grows up sometime. Doesn't mean you have to stop being a goofball. Look at us. Oh, I'm certain we have goofball out. I'm saying Riley does it. Yeah, but that's not a part of growing up. It can be. <laughs> What, Goofball Island? Move to a new place when you're young? I moved you to a new place it. when I was young. Not San Francisco. <laughs> you moved to the woods. <laughs> Out of that cave. <laughs> I'm too sad to walk. Just give me a few. That's when you run. Hours. Oh. Which way? Left? Right? No, I mean go left. I said left. Correct. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this actually feels kind of Okay, here we go. Get the core memories and sadness. Phone numbers. We don't need all these. Whoa. They're in her phone. Just forget all of that, please. Hi. Forget it. I need to find a friendship. This. Four years of piano lessons. Yeah, it looks pretty faded. You know what? Save chopsticks and heart and soul. Get rid of the rest. Are you U.S. president? That's how you forget stuff. Yeah. Keep Washington, Lincoln, and the Fablin. Forget them. 
Except for this bad boy. <laughs> this one will never fade. <laughs> the song yeah. the gum commercial. You know, sometimes we send that one up to headquarters for no reason. <laughs> over and over again, like a million times. Let's <laughs> watch it again. Triple that that gum. Gum. Fucking little beans. You fuckers. Oh, there's your in. Just go that way. Yeah, just send them there. Again! <laughs> we'll just have to go the long way. Yeah, the long, 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 long way. I'm ready. <laughs> just put up the foot. There's gotta be a better way. Ooh, look at the hell. Huh? Elephant? I will pay you back. Oh, it's the you. thing that she made oh, up. Oh, my kidding. I can't leave you. Hello? Yeah, there was a drawing on the wall yeah. earlier in the episode in the movie. Imaginary friend. Excuse me. No. Uh, I was I was looking for um diversion. What? <laughs> so long, sucker. <laughs> oh, I heard all over. Wait, I know you. No, you don't. I get that a lot. I look like a lot of people. No, 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 I do. <gasps> Bing Bong, Riley's imaginary friend. You really do know me? Well, of course. Riley loves playing with you. You two are best friends. Oh, oh, you and her. Uh, We're trying to get back to headquarters. Headquarters? You guys are from headquarters? Well, yeah. I'm Joy. This is Sadness. You're Joy? The Joy? Mm -hmm. Well, what the heck you doing out here? He's kind, but he's question. a dick. You want to answer that, Sadness? Oh, oh without you, I won't ever be happy. We can't have that. We gotta get you back. Uh, now, tell you what, follow me. I said he's kind, but he's a dick. Thank you. It is so great to see you again. Richard Kai. Okay. Such a huge <laughs> Do you remember when you and Riley were? I was in like, you're only judging this guy. Yeah, I blow a mean nose. Watching you play tag was such a treat. That seems unfair. Oh, yeah. Your of course, it runs on song power. That's right, your theme song. Who's your friend who likes to play? Bing bong, bing bong. This rocket makes you yell, hooray! Bing, bing bong, bing bong. What exactly are you supposed to be? You know it's unclear. I'm mostly cotton candy, but shape-wise, I'm part cat, part elephant, part dolphin. Dolphin? You gotta remember, when Riley was three, animals were all the rage. The cow goes moo, the horse goes neigh. That's all people talked about back then. Yeah? We're taking the train of thought. Choo-choo! Good luck, fuckers! so much faster. But how do we catch it? Well, it kind of goes all over the place, but there is a station in Imagination Land. I know a shortcut. Come on, this way. High security. D-A-N-G-E-R. Shortcuts. I'll prove it to you. He was made when she was three. I'm closer to the station, because I'm taking the shortcut. Let's go around this way. Almost there. It looks real long. If you want to walk the long way, go for it. But Riley needs to be happy. I'm not missing that. Just close your eyes and run. Bing knows what he's doing. He's part dolphin. They're very smart. I guess. Oh, come on, Sadness. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, no, they turned it on. Huh? Never seen this before. <laughs> <laughs> Abstract. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, I'll try it. He goes everywhere. Stop! Stop! Oh, no! Textures are really cool. Door of the Explorer visits. I won first place. <laughs> oh, participation. Oh, sorry. Wait, is that, is that In the book? imagination land, you got a participation trophy. <laughs> That's what she imagined. Imagine. Nope. Imagined. <gasps> you killed him. Murder. Or imaginatively murdered him. Who the heck is that? Imaginary boyfriend. I would die for. Oh, I've never seen him before. I live in That's Canada. That's a perfect voice. I live in Canada. Duff, <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> mm. That's it. No, no, no. Breathe. Find your happy place. <laughs> I just love loose black screams. <laughs> that get cut off. I would have sworn Sparkle Pony Mount was right here. Hey, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. I'll have to Princess back. Dream World! <laughs> <laughs> no, so much glitter. The stuffed animal all of you! No! <gasps> My rocket! Wait, Granny He just had that. No, no, you can't take my rocket to the top. Granny and I are going to the moon! <laughs> Riley can't be done with me. They took something that you loved. It's gone. Forever. Sadness. <laughs> Don't make him feel worse. Sorry. <laughs> Try the caramel. The delicious. There's the tray. Choo choo. Get on quick. Look at that facts that they're bringing. It's such a small box. We don't know about facts. Okay, we're a kid. <laughs> Uh, see, there's more. Oh, yeah. and opinions. Oh, mm. the jungle tiles. Damn, now we... opinions look so similar. Happens all the time. No. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> all the good core memories were made in Minnesota. Ergo, we go back to Minnesota and make more. Oh no, run away from home. Okay, yeah. Sick. Our life was perfect until Mom and Dad decided to move to San Fran State. I mean, it's just so drastic. Opposite you know, of the wizard. How great things were there. Our room, our backyard, our friends. Yeah, I gotta go the other way. <laughs> His voice is so perfect. <laughs> it's great for anger. I love it. The train of thought doesn't run while she's asleep. Oh, we can't wait that long. How about we wake her up? Sadness, that's ridiculous. How could we possibly... <gasps> how about we wake her up? Great idea, George. Thanks. Come on. Dream Productions. It's like Warner Brothers. <laughs> oh, this place is huge. Yeah, it looks so much smaller than I expected. Wow, I can fly. I love that one. Something's chasing me. <laughs> Rainbow unicorn. Here she's coming. My friend says you're famous. She wants your autograph. No, no, sadness. Don't bother Miss Unicorn, okay? Sorry, she's from out of town. It's so embarrassing, right? I loved you in Fairy Dream Adventure Part 7. Okay, bye. I love you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Add the reality distortion filter. Love it. Remember, play to the camera, everyone. <laughs> Riley is the camera. Makeup, get out of there. We are on in five, four, three. <laughs> Ew, look her teeth are falling out. <laughs> Why are they God. falling from up here? <laughs> That's how stupid dreams are. I'd be scared. Yeah. Uh, 
This is why you have weird dreams. Hey, a party. Mark, 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 what are you doing? Come back here. He's chasing his butt. It's just a dream. It's just a dream. <laughs> <laughs> Boo! Pick a plot line! Oh, no, careful, folks! Don't notice! I know people in headquarters! Fuck. It says my hat. Wait, it says my hat? My hat, sir. That's what I wrote in my hat. What are you talking about? You've got my hat. Okay, then it's my hat. Hey, you! Oh, you caught us. <laughs> Get back there, there. No escaping. No escaping. <laughs> there you are. Oh, the giant clown. It's Jangles. Who's the bird? Who's the bird? I don't know why we ever thought clowns were okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the bird? Oh, bet Melly didn't like this part. Yeah, I don't remember. Ooh, ah, ah, ah sold in my ears. Ear. We still have to wake up Riley, but how? Oh no, no, not the clown. Yeah. I think one hat says my hat in it, and the guy's like, it says my hat. It's like, that's what I wrote in my hat. Uh, but it's in my handwriting. That's my handwriting. Wake up, Riley. Stop this. <laughs> Hurry up, train. Let's go faster. Let's go faster. You can leave sadness there. Uh, why are you on 13? There's deja vu. There's language processing. There's deja vu. Deja vu. There's so critical little thinking. Little. There's deja vu. Oh, tapping it. This guy's memories. Why did our moving man even go to Texas? Texas. <laughs> Multiple customers. They didn't have enough space in the moving van. That's why they needed to go to Texas. I get it. Well, we were promised delivery on the It worked. Yeah. I understand. Everything's bigger in Texas. <laughs> Ninja vanish. Get going. You got it. No, the no. island is at the top. On the ski island. Oh. And the train of thought is derailed. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh gosh. Just luckily it didn't go to the depths. Doc Brown to suit that shit up. Immediately, I mean. Right away. <laughs> Good job, workers. Yeah. Hero beams. They're back where they started, aren't they? Maybe further. Whoa, whoa, sadness. Oh, no. You're hurting Riley. No, no, no. If you get in here, these poor memories will get sad. You go first. Riley needs to be happy. Joy? The thing long too. I think he's gonna fit. He's imaginary. Oh, oh. oh no! Well, that's fucking terrible. 
Do you think Santa's been in there? <laughs> Yeah, are down there too. I said to send sadness first, and this is why. Kind of like we would have been rid of her. We would have. <laughs> oh my gosh! Wow. These faded memories. She's gonna forget joy. Memories can come back when you least expect them. Because they're already fading, though, as like they get tossed in here too. Yeah. Like, now they're real faded. We have to get back up there. Joy was stuck down here. We might as well be on another planet. Another planet? What? Well, Who's your friend who likes to play? Yeah, they did Who's your drop the rocket down here. His rocket makes you yell, hooray! Who's the best in every way and wants to sing this song to say Who's your friend who likes to play Bing bong, bing bong The rocket to the moon The rocket to the moon <laughs> Ramp up there <laughs> That's great Hop in Sing! He's shouting. Come on! We're so close. Play your horn flute. the load. Yeah. No! Bing bong! Be glorious. Forgotten memory. Barely. Whew. than you can ever imagine. Oh, so quiet. Obi Wan would never go in my forgotten place. <laughs> Obi? Is Obi Wan. Oh, Obi Wan? He always has the high ground. <gasps> He's running, touching everything. No, not the french fries. Wow. Yes, the french fries. <laughs> Lick the salt off. <laughs> it's a fun little detail. Was he with anyone? Yes, and there she is! Hey, come back here! It's cloud town. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's cloud town. <laughs> <laughs> she is the anti-flying Nimbus. I would die for Riley. I would die for Riley. Okay, here comes. <laughs> Why is he doing that? <laughs> I would die for Riley. 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 I love that bag. Okay. Yeah. He's trying to do a lucky two. So fluid. Now, Riley. <laughs> oh, Riley. Oh. Oh. Hang on. Oh, I wish 
close to his memories. Oh no! you do if you're so smart? I tell you, but you're too dumb to understand. What? Of course your tiny brain is confused. Guess I'll just have to dumb it down to your level. Sorry I don't speak moron as well as you. Well, Good plan. Try. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, be careful! <laughs> Burn their fingers off. Sadness. I'm glad we didn't kill you. Like I want to do. <laughs> Let's see. No refund. No, I don't care, kid. <laughs> wow. Going in bridge and stuff. Sorry. 
<laughs> Girl. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> it really do be like that. You ready? Yeah. Alright. Let's play some hockey! Oh, Alright, Amber, take it! Give us that run for your dead feet! Order off! Order off! Let's just try not to get all smelly this time. Oh, Mom and Dad are watching this fail. Not for long! We've been through not a lot for lately, that's for sure. But we still love our girl. She has great new friends, a great new house. Things couldn't be better. After all, Riley's 12 now. What could happen? Puberty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Puberty. It's probably not important. Be a doctor. Not a doctor. Not a doctor. Have a nice day. What are we mad about? I don't know. Whatever Troy's mad about. What's Troy mad about? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> 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 All rage. <laughs> this is fine. We just need to go to our happy place. Triple then come. We'll make it. <laughs> the puking one back there. Is it the Scots back there puking? Yeah. <laughs> and fears just fears just pushing random stuff and whatnot. <laughs> that, that was a very very fun movie. Very uh. Or self-aware, thought-provoking. I, I found myself thinking about what my emotions were doing in my head as I was watching. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a very important movie. Mm -hmm. I think it's good that, like, maybe this gets kids and parents talking about emotions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. And Definitely. It gives more examples and language mm -hmm. for kids to be able to talk about them in a way that, like, them and their parents can understand. Sure. Yeah. Well, I like that even you have joy, like, learning that well sadness isn't something that we should just ignore there's also like there's there's need for it there's reasons for it like her big joy moment that she had wouldn't have happened if there wouldn't have been sadness and her parents came over and then they created the joy yeah, for yeah her. so this That's takes true. like the modernist view on human psychology mm -hmm. where like people are many people inside their own heads are capable of different things depending on the circumstances so like the idea of each emotion is like a separate entity mm. kind of in your head and that there aren't good ones or bad ones they just coexist and are all necessary and, sure. those, and those emotions can be separate from who you are right like a lot of people I feel like when they feel a very strong emotion it's like that's what I'm feeling it's like well that's a feeling you're feeling but that's not you necessarily right you yeah. can manage feelings it's very difficult but you can Feelings and thoughts. Mm -hmm. And you shouldn't try to force emotions or reject emotions. Yeah. Like, you've got to let them process at certain oh, points. Yeah. When I, I was in jest when I said, let's kill sadness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> no, sadness is very important. You have to have it. <clears throat> Calvin, what did you think? No, I, I really enjoyed it. It's, it's definitely like a dive of like, oh, yeah, I remember feeling those things as a kid. And... How much it sucked, but now I'm I'm different. I don't have to be sad about those things anymore. You know, it's just it it's it's a it's like Toy Story. It's like a it's very know, Toy Story actually. It, it's it's like a, I played with these things back then and yeah. I had fun with them, mm -hmm. but now I'm a different person. Sure, and sure. I yeah. you know like I do Andy, other things. Andy slash Riley is growing up, and then the the things that rely upon them is, are scared of, mm -hmm. of those changes. Yeah. Now, is this movie at all representative of how your brain works? My brain? I'm curious. Uh, Not consciously. Um, hmm. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's an interesting concept of how it works. I know I've, I've read or heard, like, typically, like, you can only really show one emotion at a time. So, like, in the very beginning and stuff, like, everything is all one emotion that they're feeling and stuff. But I like by the end of it where it's, like, they expand the, count, the console and they, like, have these memories that are a little mixture of mm -hmm. some different things, yeah, they can, right? Yeah, you can like turn a memory and see all the different faucets. Yeah. Right? But at the same time, I feel like the one memory that she was looking at that was the sad into the joy thing, mm -hmm. like it kind of has the same idea where it's like she felt sadness and then she felt joy. Yeah. But it's all in the same memory. It doesn't necessarily mean yeah. that... Yeah, we weren't giving sadness the credit that yeah. she was due. So, but I don't, <laughs> I don't know if the memory works the same way. I don't know. I don't... 
thing about like the personal per- personality islands and stuff I think is interesting yeah. like trying to think of like what makes up each individual's personality like what are their core memories that maybe mm-hmm. reflect those kind of things you know yeah, if you um, like this movie and you want to see more of an examination of this uh, Psychonauts and Psychonauts 2 does this really well yeah really? yeah where you're playing inside of different characters in your own minds hmm. and there's different visual <laughs> visual representations of a lot of these concepts. Different elements and stuff. I do know that they talked with like psychologists and stuff like that to kind of have a good idea of what they were making, what they were doing. Like there was a belief that uh, um, that your memories while you sleep slowly turn to like long-term memories. So like mm-hmm. in the movie they, well, you're going to sleep, long-term time, and they sure. send all the stuff down to long-term. And yeah, no, it's, so. it's a really, it, the visuals are representing a lot of complex psychological concepts yeah. in this, which I find really interesting. Yeah. The, uh, like, maze look of, like, all the long-term memories and stuff is supposed to represent kind of, like, the way your brain looks. How the it's wrinkles kind of all, and yeah, stuff. Intertwined and <clears throat> wrapping and stuff like that, like, maze-like. Like, that's what it's supposed to kind of represent in there, too. So, like, yeah, there's a lot of good imagery, too, if you have ideas of, like, what the brain's supposed to operate like or what psychology's like yeah. and stuff. Now, like I do think this was written and made for neurotypical brains, this is not how my brain works mm-hmm. when it comes to like emotions and memories and things like that. But it um, it would be great if it did because this seems nice. Ideal. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you mean, like, as far as like comparing this to like what you're? Well, like when Joy hit the button, she felt joy and mm-hmm. she expressed joy. Sure. Right? Like that's not how it works for me. I don't know if that's how it works for anybody necessarily. But I feel like when there's a moment of joy. Like things spark. You mean like you don't Sometimes. have you don't have like a moment of joy or anything? A lot of times they're delayed or they come out differently. So like joy might be hitting the button, but it comes out as something else, and it might come out as something else a lot later, as well. Hmm. Um, so you like lag in a way. Sometimes, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know how to measure with that kind of stuff. Like I know I have felt like ah, I'm happy, it's true. but in those moments too, I'm not thinking about like when did I become happy? Like did I become happy? At this, or my, I mean, there's definitely times when you can think about something and be like, you know what, that was really good, and you'd be happy about what had happened previously. But it's not necessarily reflective of the moment itself. It's more of a reflection on the moment. <laughs> sure. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I don't know. What do you think about the, like the personality island side of things versus the emotions? Like, do you think that that's kind of like a hmm. good reflection of kind of like what makes you you? Like. Lots of people have like like Eric. You would probably have like a Star Wars island, right? I like would. It'd probably it would be a big indestructible. Part, it'd probably be a big part of your personality <laughs> and stuff that helps to reflect different elements. Like yeah, I mean, I, Star Wars has been a lifelong <laughs> obsession of mine, and I've gone through times of great turbulence with it. You know, and a great turbulence with it with me is what I mean, right? Sure. So I can never see it really falling into the depths. Um, but that's not to say I don't have others. <laughs> you know. Um, but that one's a, certainly a constant. It's not something that I would have lost uh, as I grew up, like some people do, I feel like, right? Sure. Especially when we were growing up. And I would, uh, you know, say, hey, I like this with Star Wars. And there would be, like, either adults in my life or older kids being like, that's for kids. You need to be grown up and think about this. And then I try to think about, all right, what island do you have? And it's like, responsibility island. Like, all right, that's cool. I'll get one too, but I'm not losing Star Wars, you know? Um, gotcha. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I think it's a it's a fun way to think about, you know, how this stuff works. I don't know how mine works. I certainly relate with the, these memories aren't really doing anything right now. We only have limited space. <laughs> Let's throw them out. I, I certainly relate with that. Because I, I kind of feel like when I try to go back for, like, really deep, long memories, I'm not actually remembering the memory i'm remembering myself remember it i'm remembering the times that i've talked about that story or i've tried to recall those times and like i'm getting further and further away from the actual memory versus what i think that memory was does that make sense Mm -hmm. you know we as people are you know we're there's there's a reason that like eyewitness testimony isn't all that great right we're we're looking at patterns that aren't actually there and we're we're feeling feelings that might change how we uh, perceive interact with things, right? Mm-hmm. If if a different feeling had taken over whenever Riley was making that first speech of the classic, that could have been a very core pleasant memory. But it's just sometimes you're at the 
you're at the mercy of your emotions, and other times you realize you don't have to be. But that doesn't invalidate either one. Sure. You know? And they, I think with a lot of the, a lot of the, like, jumping into different heads, they kind of show a lot of emotion usage, yeah. I guess, right? Like, when we see the mom and the dad, they're mm-hmm. kind of all sitting at one console, which is kind of what we get to Riley eventually. But at the time being, she just has kind of, like, one person operating yeah. at a time, right? Yeah. But then, like, you get to, like, the boy, and it's like, girl, girl, and all the emotions are just flipping out, freaking out. Yeah. They don't know what to do. <laughs> like, they're all just running rampant, you know? Like, it has some fun, like, reflections on, like, yeah. emotions and inside your head. Um, you guys were talking at one point about, like, uh, the mom and the dad having, like, well, Joy seems to be kind of the front runner of Riley, but, like, yeah. sadness seems to be the front runner of the mom and yeah. anger. Um, I was looking at something, and it said that the mom, while having sadness is more towards, like, an empathy kind of standpoint. Mm-hmm. And then the dad having anger is more towards, like, a protectiveness sure. kind of thing. So, like, it's, like, still those kind of, like, emotions, but it has a little broader reach than just... Sure. He's what about the bus driver? I don't know about him. I think he just had... <laughs> anger issues. He's trying. Yeah. You know? he, might need, he might need a little bit more help, you know? He does. I like that they're still all different colors, but they're they're just yeah. shaped. Yeah. Um, apparently, they, they, they tried to shape... The emotions to kind of have different shapes. Like Joy is more of like a star, and I think and you, she glows. Yeah, I think you really see that whenever she turns into a star. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, in the abstract. Yeah, but uh, 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 anger was like a brick. Mm-hmm. Fear was like a raw nerve. That That's why sense. he's like all kind of like twisty yeah. and stuff. Sadness yeah. is a teardrop, and disgust is broccoli. Though the director also said that, even though he made her disgust in broccoli, he st- he really likes broccoli. <laughs> uh, broccoli too. I like broccoli I, as well. I, I like broccoli, just not on pizza. No. Not on pizza. <laughs> There's so many options. Although you get cheese on your broccoli sometimes, and that's yeah. good. Either no. either they they leave like the entire tree of the broccoli on there, and it's just too much. Yeah. And it's, it it the texture is disgusting. Or yeah. they just use the stalk, like the trunk of the broccoli, mm. and it's like a rock. On pizza, yeah, it's hmm. the worst. I mean, I know they say like anything you put salt and butter on, you just like salt and butter. You don't like the actual thing, yeah. Popcorn, all that stuff. But I feel like I when I have like I fry up some broccoli, a little bit of salt, and a tiny bit of butter on all of it, shake it. It's great. Yeah, you even char it. Yeah, you put butter on your broccoli. A little tiny bit is good. There's a tiny. Yeah. I just steam it, and salt yeah. and pepper it. Yeah, I mean they say that, but I'll eat just corn. Will you eat just butter? Yeah. I have before. Well, then see. I shared it with my they, cat. They might be right. What? Not what? my current cat. Back when I was like two years Imagine old. Imagine your emotions watching that. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> what would you guys think of uh, Bing Bong? Bing Bong's fun. It's Bing interesting, fun. yeah. Yeah, it's... It's like a personification too. of all like the... Like, I don't have anyone to play with right now, so... Mm-hmm. I'm gonna... I'm gonna be the person that I play with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, like Jung says that an imaginary friend is like a vital part of the human existence. So, like he had his into adulthood, mm-hmm. and we were like have conversations with it and things. Mm-hmm. I don't think I ever had an imaginary friend. I certainly was lonely on the farm playing, but I would imagine that I'm in a story. But I would never ima- like I never thought about any of those imaginary people that I'd be playing with as being a real thing or. Someone that would come back if they weren't appropriate for the sure. of the story, you know? Yeah, I never did. I remember pretending to be like a James Bond agent, and there were yeah. like other agents and stuff with me, but I didn't have like faces or names or anything for them. I'd call them like double O stuff and whatnot. Sure. Yeah, I didn't have any recurring characters. Yeah. I, I certainly, yeah. uh, certainly the imaginary boyfriend thing here. Like I don't, I didn't have that, but I had the generator. Of like, yeah. When you were a kid, and you would think, "Oh, what's my future wife gonna be like?" And I would imagine that you can't really. I couldn't really see their face, mm-hmm. but you can imagine what it's like. Gotcha. And it's nothing like what it turns out to be, which is what makes life beautiful. Because that's the thing. Like, it's like the house thing. Well, right? so maybe imagine some, what the house is gonna look like. Exactly. Yeah. But, but the thing is, like, these emotions are so afraid of change, and change isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it is really scary. You know, like, obviously, I don't want Riley to get on the bus and possibly be in a lot of danger you know but if if it's a if it's a shift to sadness for this part of her life that's not a bad thing like that's going to build new stuff just because old sure. stuff's gone doesn't mean new stuff's not going to be just as good or not better and i i think that like 
the move and the change wasn't what scared yeah. any of them, but like seeing where they were too and like what it was. Yeah. Like they were building these expectations and then it wasn't any of that, you know? Yeah. And then everything just kept being worse and worse and worse. And then like the mom pushed like, you know, hopefully we can be happy for dad. He's going through stress times yeah. and all this kind of stuff. So then they, they were pushing the forefront of joy, mm -hmm. but then they weren't letting the sadness out for her to where, like it does a good job of seeing like when there's sadness and stuff, family and the people we care about kind of like, can come together yep. and they help us get through the sad times, you know? Well, it kind of shows the the spiral where, like, if you go into a situation angry or afraid, like, you can cause an outcome that is, like, develops more of that, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, if you go into something with anger, like, you can cause an angry reaction and that reinforces your anger and, like, it just kind of continues and grows and grows and grows. Yeah, it can sure. justify why you were feeling angry in the first place. Yeah. yeah. But it also doesn't mean that you shouldn't have it either. Right? No. Like, that's why I like, I like at the very end when they're playing hockey, and I'm like, this, ho this they're, they're playing hockey is the perfect time to have all five of them at the console, I think, yeah. right? Because you can feel the joy of playing hockey, mm -hmm. you can be angry that someone stole a puck from you, so now you, you're more aggressive Scared maybe, you're right? Miss. you would be afraid that you're going to get hurt, that you're going to miss, or fall, or whatever. Disgusting your teammates. Yeah. Well, oh, even to bring joy and sad if you missed. Even to bring joy and sadness back in, like they had to use their anger to create that hole, right? Sure. To, yeah. to, to force. I like something. that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Star Wars would say that's on the dark side, but I don't necessarily. Sure. Agree. Well, and there's different levels of all those different emotions and stuff yeah. too, right? Like yeah. You can be ecstatic, or you can be like kind of happy, or sure. like content, and stuff like that too. Mm -hmm. But I especially loved when uh, Riley was born and joy is like the first emotion mm -hmm. right I mean like, I think it makes sense like the, the baby doesn't really feel you know doesn't have a conscious mind yet but it does have emotions that are being the babies used. can't smile right away not, not, not necessarily no. but does that mean you don't feel joy if you can't smile it's is that, to, is that it's possible to know you know mm -hmm. like who knows what's going on in that baby's head yeah but I think people can feel joy without smiling right oh I, well I think like, so in yeah. general so like maybe a baby could I don't know but yeah there's no way of knowing what a baby feels, for sure, I guess. But I especially like that Joy showed up in a place of complete darkness and, like, discovered how things worked. Like, as, you know, she got older, like, more areas would kind of open up. That was really cool. And then you can think about the mother, the father, and everybody else that we saw inside their head. They have very different looks of what happens inside their head. I, I mean, kind of thought they would... Sorry, go ahead. I was just saying, like, you know, they had kind of, like, the basic building blocks but everybody had like their own theme their own look their own way of doing things which I thought was really really cool I kind of thought that maybe the emotions would grow more detailed over time mm -hmm. like they might just start as abstract and they might start as bigger sure. as well because yeah. like kids yeah lots of emotion that's like when they're sad they're sad yeah, yeah. when they're angry they're angry so, like I kind of expected them to shrink and maybe become more detailed mm -hmm. but yeah. But you got to market them as well. You so do. You need them to look the same the whole movie. Sure. And in, in, the, yeah. in the can of the movie, like, they are at headquarters, yes, but they're, is, the mind is huge. We never even got to yeah. the corners of it. I think, I think could be more they do the same thing, but rather than having the actual emotions be big or small, because, like, Riley doesn't do it because of how big they are. It's, like, what they're pushing and stuff. I think having the mixture, like, you can have sadness and joy at the same time. So it's, like, it's not quite as sad as it could be if it was just sad. You know, mm -hmm. where it's not quite as happy because you also have maybe some anger in here or something, you know? Sure. So I think you can kind of get a little bit of mixtures or different variances of what her feelings are, maybe with that when you mix them. I always thought it was interesting, especially growing up uh, playing sports, like high school football, and your coach tells you, like, get angry. Get angry because that emotion will fuel all these things that you need, you know? And I remember just, like, getting down the line being like, all right. How do I get angry? <laughs> but I like look up at the guy, you know, that I'm about ready to hit and just imagine all these terrible things that they did to me, you know? Like I can't just make myself angry because that's not me, but I can try to force anger to the forefront, right? And then that can send signals down the rest of my body to try to like, you know, I'm gonna get more explosive or more what, yeah, strong. What you need to do is like have one play where you yeah. just like get dis like destroyed by this guy, he just yeah. pushes you over and stuff, and then use that to be like fucking I'm not gonna let that happen again. I'm angry now. I did weird stuff like this guy slapped my mom. <laughs> now I hit him as hard as I could. He must be thinking, what the hell did I do to that guy? <laughs> <laughs> but to your point, sometimes, yeah, I remember uh, I was center, and then the right guard next to me, he went to 
to block one of the linebackers on the defensive side, and that linebacker grabbed his face mask and him and just, like, pile-drived him. I remember being so mad that the next play, or at least, that wasn't the next play. It was the next play I knew I was going to hit that guy. I hit him as hard as I possibly could, inappropriately. And he it was probably long enough where he's like, why did you do that to me, you know? But... It was like the next quarter. Yeah. <laughs> but that's not me steering it. That's just that's the emotion taking over, you know? Sure. I, I would have been like, I don't want to hurt the person. Or, you know, like, I could have talked to the coach like, hey, he's roughhousing. But instead, you know, something takes over you. Yeah. So, and I feel like that's when kind of... When it comes of, to that, like, I can imagine someone at the console pressing the buttons, you know? I feel like that's kind of the idea of the light bulb thing, right? Mm-hmm. Like, the whole console starts shutting down. Like, yeah. anger has put this idea in her head, and this yeah. is what she's doing on, like, an angry feeling. Mm-hmm. Rather than, like, we get sadness in there, and then she starts thinking about the things that make her sad, and how she misses her family and stuff, yeah. and probably wants to stop, you know? Like, sadness sure. gets it out of there. Yeah. So, like, yeah, I think anger can make you do things that maybe you don't want to do, mm-hmm. for the most part. So that's yeah. kind of a good way of maybe kind of showing that, I think. Yeah. Like, they, like fear, I don't think, would run away. I don't think disgust would run away. But mm-hmm. I think anger, like, that was his idea, right? Sure. I'm so mad at this situation, we're going to do something drastic. Fear might run away in a different way. Yeah, maybe. But, but I think he'd be too afraid to run away. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, to just take a bus with a bunch of strangers to Minnesota from San Francisco. I like that it was focused on, like, moving. That's a pretty traumatic experience can yeah, be for kids. it's a big change in their life. And it's but, something that a lot of kids can relate to. Yeah, but I wish, I, I hope there's more of these, and I hope they go... There's been a rumor of, like, making a sequel to this. I hope they go harder. Yeah. Like, I would like this to help kids who have struggled with abuse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or with death. Death, maybe. Addiction. I don't know if the abuse one, but may, maybe depending what kind of abuse they do. Yeah. It could be a thing. I mean... Um, I know that the director wanted he wanted to do this after like watching his daughter kind of like grow up yeah. and whatnot, yeah. um, and I think he also voiced the anger inside the dad's head and stuff yeah. too, um, which that whole scene was based on like an experience he had with his wife, where like he was just kind of like do 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 shit. What, what have I done? What she what she want? Why is she looking at me? What do I do? <laughs> yeah, have one with like a kid with anxiety or depression. Have one with an autistic kid. Mm-hmm. Like, I think it could be really cool. Yeah, I mean. Riley, as frustrating and sad as it can be to moving, had two very loving parents that cared about her, and that doesn't happen to everybody. Sure. You know? That changes how you react to things. So, there, you know, could be... We could look into somebody's head, and they don't have a certain emotion, or they have an extra emotion, or they have an emotion that's not doing what it's supposed to do. Sure, yeah. Like, they all had... What? They had fear, disgust, sadness, joy. Yeah. Like... There's other emotions maybe you could have had in there. Like um, the bus driver, the, right? Like, he had nothing but anger. Yeah. Different flavors They were of like anger. different flavors of anger. Like a but, sad anger, a fearful you know, anger. And I, and I think that's happy fun. Anger. It's sure. fun to think about, like, on one level that he's, oh, well, you know, it's road rage. But think about that deep, deeper. I mean, he might have been one of those people that didn't have support and, and help from outside of this headquarters. Well, sure. You know? Because those are anger took over. Those are the emotions that you could be feeling, mm-hmm. but he only knows how to express that one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So when he's happy, like he he releases it in a way that is yeah. anger. Mm-hmm. Or when he's sad, he gets angry. You know. When he's angry, he gets real angry. Yeah, like when you're afraid, it's like anger. You don't feel the fear; you feel anger at the thing making you afraid. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Like anger is the, the fight or flight idea, right? Emotion so he to fight, access, fights. So. Instead of yeah. runs, or something like that. I get you. Uh, not shocked, but they made a very clear Chinatown reference in this, <laughs> <laughs> which the kids are not gonna get. There yeah. was a bunch of Hitchcock posters. There were. I just thought it was funny. There's a yeah. lot of like adult movie references in this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. I-, I loved that. Uh, there's a lot of movies and cartoons that have done that over the years and stuff too. Like this is for the parents yeah. <laughs> that are being forced to watch this with their kids. Sure. Give them a or, little nugget in there. Or watching just with their kids and not forced yeah. to or whatever. But yeah, no, yeah. I, get what, I, I get what you mean. By the way. movies like this that I'd like watch 20 yeah. times in a row. <laughs> I, I fully went into this thinking that this was going to be like an inner space movie. We're like, we got to go inside and fix something, you know? I, thought, oh. I had no idea it was emotions. Really? I thought it was going to be like, all right, shrink down, no, yeah. go inside a uh, body, maybe you go into uh, the brain. Fantastic Voyage? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. That's interesting. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so, you guys all talk about, like, so you didn't really know anything about this movie then. You guys uh, both knew the premise? I knew yeah. it was this. I knew, yeah, it was I knew this. Lewis Black was anger. Mm. Gotcha. Yeah, I knew I knew Lewis Black, and I knew, um, 
never remember Barry. I can never remember his name. Bill Mitchell. Hader. Bill Hader. Bill Hader. Yeah. yeah. Um, John Ratzenberger was in here briefly. You said the the pig, right? Yeah, he's the pig. He's the <laughs> Yeti in Monsters Inc. He's he's the he's something and everything. I think and he's the the leader of the carnival in Bugs Life. He's also Major Brit uh, Bren Durlin from Star Wars: Empire Strikes Back. He has a cameo in that. You're right. He does. <laughs> I saw Frank Oz in this list. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Frank Oz was in it. He was a, a subconscious guard, Dave. Oh, Dave and oh, Frank. Those guards. Right? Those guys were funny. The other one was uh, Dave Gol- Goals. Goals. Dave Goals. Is yeah, that... so they switched names. Okay. Yeah. And then none of you guys picked up Flea. Yeah, I didn't pick up Flea. The mind <laughs> worker cop? Mind worker okay. cop. He wasn't, he wasn't in it very much. Yeah, so. I didn't catch it. I understand that. Oh, Rashida Jones, cool yeah. girl emotion. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, there's a few cool little like extra ones. Um, I don't know who Forget Her Bobby and Forget Apollo were, but uh, Bobby Moynihan. But Bobby is Bobby Moynihan. Yeah. Yep. And Paula Poundstone. Oh, they I think were the both SNL they were the people, two right? people that were sucking up sucking the memories. Up, yeah. um, they were the forgetters. forgetters. Gotcha. Okay. There's quite a few extra little voices and stuff in it. Dang I especially Lane. loved them. Yeah, that was the mom. That's cool. I, I especially love them sending that commercial back over and over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of things I think that kind of help to, like, yeah. It's yeah. like Our like going into the subconscious was kind of cool and seeing, like, what's there in the subconscious that we want to forget about, but it pops up every once in a while, right? A lot of the fears and stuff, too. But, yeah, the mind worm ideas. Like, sometimes we just do this to screw with them. Yeah. <laughs> Send this, this little music over. And then you have, like, Imagination Land, too, which was kind of cool. Though it was sad that... <laughs> I like, there's that one the woman talking to the cop and he's like so wait so you're telling me an elephant killed your husband it's like yeah it's like well was he alone it's like no he was with that woman right there like, and she's dead now too <laughs> like oh man cloud city know. it's uh. cloud city <laughs> I do wonder about that forgotten memories fading like I wonder how can you ever know you've forgotten a memory forever like I mean, is that possible I mean you wouldn't know it would just be gone and you wouldn't remember Right? Or there's those moments whenever you're like, oh, it was, uh, oh my God, what was it? I don't yeah. remember what it was. Until like sometimes someone else you remember, and sometimes right? things trigger things that you forgot a long time oh, ago. Yeah. Like, I just wonder if a memory can ever truly fully be gone. There's I mean, I, I guarantee can... there's thousands of things that you've experienced that you don't remember. I certainly have right? file folders that once I've remembered something, it opens up a whole other bunch a of file memories. Tree. I'm like, oh yeah. yeah, I remember that now. So, so I don't know if they can be gone. Well, are I, think those, they, I think that they can be like there might be inaccessible reach. ones. Yeah, but I wonder, like, so you don't think any memory could truly ever be gone? I'm not from sure. Your mind? I think you can. Didn't, I mean, weren't you just describing how you don't have a memory of stuff, but you have the memory of telling the memory? I mean, that's true of a lot of memories. That's not true of all of them or anything. You know? Sure. But certainly, the further away you get from something, the you know, like it's just humans are an animal the brain is a uh, yeah. you know a thing that happens and all those emotions have developed over millions of years of evolution that somehow make us live long enough to reproduce you know sure. so all that stuff is kind of like it works but sometimes i don't know why and sometimes i don't know if it's i don't know if it's possible to completely forget a memory but again how do you know that how would you ever i'd have to have someone bring it back up well, see, some I've certainly had those things where, like, I have no idea what you're talking about. I've done that before. Sure. And someone, like, they tell me, no, you did this. Have you ever learned something that you can't remember how to do it? Yeah. I'll or or you're telling me, like, everything you've ever learned, you remember 100% how to do it. Well, I'm not saying that they're accessible all the time. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm just saying, like, could I get them back? You know? Well, you would relearn them, and then that's a new memory, right? Mm, or is it just... Unlocking the ones that I learned before. I feel like it'd be a new memory. I don't, I don't think know. you'd be unlocking it because you wouldn't remember it. You'd be relearning it, right? Like it could be, a, I don't know, programming language or a kata. But or also, like the like question something itself, where it's like, oh man, I totally forgot all about this. But the question itself might be flawed because I can't tell you exactly physically what a memory is. You know, yeah. it's the word that we use to describe like a brain state, but. It might not even be a necessarily a thing, and we it's a neural we, pathway. We're making right? up all of our memories, <laughs> you know. Mm. Like these neurons fire in a specific yeah. order. These chemicals wash over bits of our brain, and there's a reaction from that. Yeah. And when those neurons don't fire in that specific order, it's it's a different feeling, right? Mm-hmm. I think it's just like a, a, a path through undergrowth. 
that if it's traveled a lot, then it's more clear. If it's yeah. not traveled, then sometimes you have to like That's a good pack way. the limbs yeah. down. What's useful? Right? Like I feel like I've had watching like one of our videos or something mm -hmm. like that, and like one of us says something like, "Man, I don't remember us doing that at all." That's funny. Sure. And now I have a memory of me watching it. Yeah. But I, it's not necessarily that I remember mm -hmm. us doing that then. Yeah. It's just now. I, well, obviously we did. So now I must remember this. So moment. you could yeah. have that memory, but you failed to get it. <laughs> failed to get it? Yeah, like, it could be in there, in the but you haven't reached it. Well, it just it just <laughs> faded, and they sucked it up and tossed it in the dump. Could be. You know, I don't know. Yeah, could be. It's interesting, too, because it's not like... It's like memories have... They have a long life, right? Yeah. Like, they're on the shelf, and then they fade. And then people are looking, I'm like, you think we need any of these? And, like, those people are like, yeah, keep chopsticks, you know, in this one. Get rid of all the other piano stuff. We don't need all these other ones. So then when you go to piano, you're like, oh, I remember this. Yeah. But you're uh, like, I don't remember the rest of these. I mean, some of them have a long life, but then it's like, okay, remember this number. And then, like, you ask me to, a minute later, and I'm like, damn, I can't yeah. remember. And now it's gone. Yeah. Someone's, <laughs> yeah, those guys like, they don't need this. But then well, it you goes, haven't gotten a rim. But then it goes down <laughs> in the dump, and then it's, they're there. They don't just disappear right away either. Like, yeah. we saw them kind of slowly start fading. But, but like I, they were there for a little uh, bit. I do like that they're colored by emotions because like the stronger the emotion, the more likely you are to remember. The sure. Mm -hmm. And the only real in the very beginning, you see like every emotion is like the golden color. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. it's like sure. Joy is like pushing that she's like leading and trying to keep her happy all the time. And I like that by the end of it, you really start seeing. I'm glad she got to eleven memories. and that most of her memories were joyful. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. But at the same time, like <laughs> definitely. There should be other memories in there too. Yeah, it feels like Joy is taking maybe too much of a lead. I li I just like that there's more. I don't know. There's more colors by yeah. the end. Yeah, and there's a mixture of things. The only real hole in this metaphor of what's going on is, at least with memories for me, is smell. Like sure. The sense of smell, as they say, is like super tied to memory, and I, I can tell you, like their specific friends' houses that I would visit. They had a very specific smell. I can't describe to you what that smell was, but if I walked into it right now, I know that I had just a flood of memories. Yeah, I can that. walk through like a laundry cool. detergent aisle. Yeah. And like if I smell like my grandmother's or my great aunt's, yeah. like the stuff they used, mm -hmm. that triggers memories. Yeah. But I mean, they would just, it would be that. The emotion would be like, oh, that's this. And you push a button and then it would show the memory. Sure. Right? Like that would yeah. be what would trigger. It's like something has to trigger you. that memory in a way. Yeah, no, I get you. Just, for me, it's almost like involuntarily. Well, uh, that's, 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 it is for Riley too. Sure, it's just in the movie we have emotions in our head that no, I get on, So yeah. I get what you mean. It just kind of happens. Mm -hmm. Kind of like, but like you know, I was uh, both of my grandparents on the Whiteley side have passed away, and a couple months ago we went up to their house to start trying to clear it out and get rid of stuff. And every room I would like open a new closet, and a, a certain smell would hit, and I would think of like. Oh my God! Playing outside here with my cousin Ivany, she was April O'Neil and I was Leonardo. <laughs> you know, like that stuff happened. I'm like completely forgot about it. But For it was, me, yeah, it was just like because it was around the corner from this smell. You know. For me, the biggest hole in the movie is that someone want to go back to Minnesota. Have you been to Minnesota? No. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> People want to skate, Rick. They want to skate. Yeah, they want to skate. That's where the Mighty Ducks are from. Yeah, you're right, Rick. Are they from Minnesota? <laughs> Minneapolis, Minnesota. You're right, Minneapolis. Remember? They would always say that where they're from, D2. Right. I don't remember anything about... Well, if I give you a certain smell... I'm sure I've watched... You're going to remember that whole movie. Well, why'd you, why'd, you, why'd you do that? Where has your hand been? Have you ever watched the TV show? I haven't. I watched a show. I watched... I remember nothing about the movie. Yeah. It's okay. It's all right. Hmm. As you would expect. I would probably enjoy it if I watched it at the same age as I watched your other, other ones, though. Enjoy it more, I should say. Gotcha. What did you guys think of the uh, facts opinions thing? It was very funny. <laughs> I like that one. Like you were like the Mahjong tiles, <laughs> oh, but yeah. I like that they're like they look so similar. He's a guy that happens all the time. He's just yeah. tossing all in one box. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> like using opinions as facts and stuff. Yeah, and... I, I like that. It reminded me of like the, you know, there's a difference between knowledge and belief, <laughs> but one is effectively the other two. <laughs> you know, like it, it kind of remind, remind me of that. Where it's like I don't know. I heard a thing. I yeah. trust it. Yeah, you can only juggle so much in your brain at once. So, like, you have to file things away of just, like, this is truth. Yeah. If I need to re-examine it later, I can, but for now, truth. Yeah. Because as fun as it, as it is to, like, you know, watch this and think about what's going on in your own head, like, if you really want to screw yourself up, like, we know that all humans, or most humans, have some type, they, they have some type of consciousness, right? 
We all know that we have it. Every single person I meet has consciousness. All right, what is consciousness? And then... Yeah, who knows? No one knows. <laughs> <laughs> like the most fundamental thing that we ourselves can generate this idea of a person that you can then show to other people. We have no idea what that idea is. It's really... It's fun to think about. And I like all the theories, but who knows? This is just one of them. A very fun way of watching a, a theory of the mind. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think it's really cool. And I thought the cast was all fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. No, the... Uh, I personally... I'm, I don't want to interrupt you. Go ahead. No, there was a, a thing with the director where he was, like, pitching the idea. And he's like, here's what we could do. It'd be yeah. so much fun. We could get... We could make me even get Louis Black to do anger, you know? Yeah. Like, it'd be so fun. Like, he was just throwing out all these ideas, and then they did right. get Louis Black for it. Yeah. And, like, they, they <laughs> sent him, like... They sent him something about, like, being the voice of anger. And they were trying to get him to do it. And when they, when they sent all that... They also sent, like, a bunch of Pixar movies. Mm -hmm. And Louis Black, I guess, was like, I don't know if they just thought I didn't know what Pixar was yeah. and I was just such a recluse. Yeah. Or, or what? They're like, either they thought I was a real recluse, like, a big recluse, or I was stupid. <laughs> so, but he, he accepted it thought it was great. I feel so. like he's perfect. I feel like the other ones do good, but they're not, like, the first person I think of when I think of that emotion. Really? I don't know who I would think of when I think of disgust. I think Mindy did a pretty good job, though. When I think of, um... Fear, damn! I had it, then I lost it. Now I'm angry at myself because it was perfect. What does it sound like? <laughs> <laughs> What's the anger sound like? You recall the memory, Rick? I know. I know, it's fear. <laughs> I know it hasn't faded. I just can't access it. They're all scrambling right now. What was that? Ah! Oh, um, damn! Who wrote Seinfeld? Oh, Larry David. I think Larry David would be a good. That's fear. a good thing. A, a good, good fear. fear. Yeah, I can that, see that. Like self doubt. Mm. Yeah, I see that a lot in his mm -hmm. interviews. Disgust, you need like, I don't know, Evangelist? Evangelist? Uh, what do you mean? Evangelist. Evangelist. Like a televangelist? Like, yeah. why? What? Why? <laughs> <laughs> why? <laughs> yeah. I don't understand. I don't know. I like the idea of like, she's kind of like a, I don't know, like a, I don't know. I don't know how to describe her. She's like, Oh, fancy like do your nails kind of things and gets disgusted easily mm -hmm. by things you know like kind of uh, valley girl kind of sure. is what I'm thinking about a little yeah. bit like clueless things like ew you know yeah. like that kind of idea can't do it now else. but Roger Ebert would have been a good one mm. for anger disgust for disgust, disgust. Hmm. it's not bad see I'm you know Pixar is guilty of this a lot obviously but they they generally get some pretty high caliber actors but I'm always more of a fan of you know this acting on camera and acting just with your voice are very different skill sets mm. um, not to say that people can't have both we certainly know some amazing actors that can do that and way more but sometimes I feel like Pixar has been guilty of picking like a very big star that's not necessarily the best voice actor um, in terms of like modulating their voice so you're saying you want Chris Sabat to do all the emotions because I'm on board <laughs> for certain emotions <laughs> I think that he would be good for certain things I wouldn't necessarily have him for sadness, <laughs> you know. I think Phyllis was good for sadness. Phyllis oh, was no, that's a, I think that's a really inspired oh, choice. I just touched everything. I'm I haven't so seen sorry. The Office, so I don't yeah. know. But she seemed really good for this role. Yeah. Uh, Rick, to watch She's really more. Good. Um, speaking of voices, and stuff too. Sorry. Good. No, Joy should be Richard Simmons. I could see that. <laughs> I could see that as well. Or Mr. Rogers, maybe. No, the joy of painting, Bob Ross. Maybe. That's mine. That's the thing. It's not who is it for everybody. You know, for everybody, he, you need to have a list of you. you Mister Rogers should be like the the Overlord. Yeah, <laughs> you know, he's Rogers. like the Super Saiyan, the Captain Planet. When they all come together, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> One thing that's interesting is like all of Riley's things. Like, there's like here's the male fear and anger, then here's the female like disgust. Mm -hmm. You know, sadness and joy. But then, sure. like, you go to mom, and like, they were they were all girls. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then you go to dad, and they were like all guys. Sure. Yeah. You know, it was just it was interesting. Like, you the, could the say that, that maybe before uh, before puberty, puberty and stuff, maybe, maybe you don't have stuff. like your gender's not as it's more fluid. Maybe you know. Maybe. Well, yeah, and just like in society, I feel like it's mm -hmm. more acceptable for men to be angry. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Like it's more acceptable for women to be sad. It's mm -hmm. more expected for men to be angry. Spend a lot of time. Yeah, to be strong, to not cry, to, you know, all those toxic things that we think <laughs> about ourselves. <laughs> to laugh at people being safe. That's always one of the fuck, fuck with me when I was growing oh, up. To gosh. laugh at people being yep. safe. Yeah, it's like, oh, you oh. don't need a helmet. Why are you wearing a hard hat? 
God. No one's gonna hit you. You pussy. Are you, are you afraid? Are you pussy? It's yeah. like, no, dummy. I don't want a brain injury from falling shit. You're not stronger or better because you're dumb. <laughs> like my dad's best friend when I was growing up on the uh-huh. other side of the state, he yeah. was he was a cons- uh, like a, a steel worker. He was an uh, industrial construction yeah. worker, and a three quarter inch plate, like a full four by eight sheet, fell. On his head. He was wearing a hard hat. It crushed three vertebrae in his neck. Oh my god, that's a core He memory. didn't die. Yeah. But if he hadn't been wearing a hard hat, it would have just pancaked his brain. Yeah. That's crazy. But you know what I'm talking about, right? Like, oh, there, yeah. there are people out there. I know there people that, like, like that. that. Yeah. Oh, and I mean, it's so there's weird. people who do that. There's people who mock yeah. people for doing well in school. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, it, I think they're just. I think that's the fear it. coming out. <laughs> well, it, it reflects well with the popular girl, right? Yeah. She's like, oh, the fear's like leading in. It's like, we're just, we're a fraud. We're yeah. a fake. We can't even find out, you know? Like, No, they're not going to find right. out. We, we're wearing eyeshadow. And it, it just reflects well with like a lot of like, it's it's the idea of like no one can talk about their emotions. Yeah. Like it's very taboo-ish in a way. Yeah. So like because of that, like the the guy who's having gay thoughts beats up anyone who's gay kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Or, the, he, or the bully is a bully because he's being bullied at home by his parents and stuff yeah. and yeah. because they have no one to talk about that's how they sure. show their yeah I don't know their no. feelings I guess and in a way like I said I think that's know? why movies like this are good mm-hmm. sure especially I would say for kids like having your great fears being in your subconscious that you don't even think about sometimes mm-hmm. sure mm-hmm. and understanding why they keep coming back mm-hmm. just pops up sometimes busts down the door shows up yeah Where's the birthday girl? Be scary. <laughs> it would be scary. <laughs> Who did come up with clowns? What were they thinking? The French <laughs> gestures, <laughs> probably. Yeah, yeah gestures maybe. from like old. Yeah, just trying to, you know, the king's fool. Oh, something stupid to laugh at. He just most of the time just a, unfortunately, like a mentally disturbed person mm. that people didn't understand that they thought, oh, that's different. That's that's different from the humdrum of court life yeah. and everything. Let me laugh at that. It's just hmm. sucks. On a fun note, one yeah. thing I was going to say, talking about like voice acting wise, uh-huh. young Riley, uh, they didn't have her voiced. They used uh, takes and clips they didn't use of Boo from Monsters Inc. Oh, nice. I thought that was kind of neat. Hmm. Young as in like her baby. Like toddler Riley when she was like running around the house and stuff yeah, and doing all that. I thought it was just kind of cool. Gotcha. That. I think they did credit her as like say, young yeah, Riley at some point, that? but that's what they use with those. Cl- well, I think she got paid for the initial clips. Sure. But then Pixar still owned those clips or whatever, so I think she still got credited. I, I believe. I don't know how they pay stuff. I don't know how it works. I wonder how that. Works. I could say yes and no, and both could be right or wrong. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. But I like the ideas of. I like a lot of the ideas of what they do here. Like I said, there's. I've heard rumors that they might make a sequel to this. Yeah. Like yeah, Inside Out Two or something like that. I don't know if it would cover Riley if you'd have an entirely different family or kids or whatnot. But sure. Yeah. Do you go to adolescence or? You yeah. start again at a child, but a different child, mm-hmm. with different yeah. experience. Yeah, yeah. Take a new child with like instead of moving, maybe there is like maybe their dad dies or something like that, you know. And it's a, an entirely different type of route that they have to go through and emotions that are being felt and stuff. So could That's be some cool. interesting things you do with it. Before we go, I did want a special shout out, Bing Bong, Bing Bong, who's a G, right? And <laughs> knew he was going to die down there, but that was her friend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I read um, that Richard Kind when he was doing the voice for the last line that he has there of like take Riley to the moon for me yeah. that he was crying during it and well, other yeah, people were like oh, they were crying too <laughs> <Everybody's> <laughs> crying. you know I was like oh that's, that's awesome it's beautiful that, so. <sighs> it makes me mad that I didn't have an imaginary friend right made a cotton candy <laughs> yeah mostly cotton candy maybe you used to my joy would just die down maybe you used to you don't remember it and that memory has faded because you ate him nope I don't remember that. We hope that you enjoyed this movie, and we hope that you allow us to be the little voices inside your head for other movies. You can check out all the movie reactions that we've ever done. Uh, I call anger. I'll be anger. Anger? Uh, yep. Fear. Fear. I'll be disgust. Yeah. Aaron? Uh, I'll go joy. Okay. <laughs> There's no sadness in blindness. <gasps>